Well, the State Board of Education revoked Mary Creedon's license. And tonight, we're getting our first look at the allegations that ended her teaching career. 10 TV's Jason Frazier, live outside Livingston Elementary with the details. Jason? Well, Jerry, the State Department of Education says the teacher's aide was repeatedly warned about her behavior here. And tonight, she'll likely never, ever teach again. She was supposed to nurture students, grow minds, and help teachers. But now 63-year-old Mary Creighton will never step foot in a classroom again. This uh, aide uh, drug a student uh, down the hallway inappropriately. The State Board of Education report released today says the incident took place in November of 2011. At the time, the four-year-old student at Livingston Elementary suffered from separation anxiety, according to state officials. And typically when the student did not want to do something, they would um, basically fall to the floor to be dead weight. The report says that when a student drops to the floor, the protocol, quote, is to allow them to remain there, attempt to verbalize with them to end the conduct, and if it continues for a lengthy time, contact the office for a peak teacher or the principal. The uh, aide was told by the teacher to wait with the student, to let the student stay on the floor. Instead, the report says Creighton dragged the four-year-old, quote, 20 feet down a hallway. When she was confronted about what had just happened, the report says she initially denied what she had done. The aide did not obey the teacher. Uh, the aide was inappropriate with the student. And today, the State Board of Education voted to revoke her license for conduct they call unbecoming of a teacher. That means she won't be able to teach here or at any other school in the state. If she would try to become relicensed, it would obviously pop up on the screen that she should not have a license. And earlier tonight, we stopped by her home to get her side of what happened. A woman who answered the door identified herself as Creighton's sister and declined comment. Reporting live tonight in South Columbus, Jason Frazier, 10TV News.